Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rose Corrigan, Public Health Specialist for the City of Dubuque with an October 15, 2020 COVID-19 update from the Dubuque County Public Health Incident Management Team. Dubuque County's case total continues to climb with 347 cases in the last seven days. Our 14-day average positivity rate is 15%, much higher than the desirable 5% or below rate we want. And to top it off, the latest White House Task Force released uh, their report on October 11th still has Iowa and three Iowa counties, including Dubuque, as red zones. Not a big surprise there. Some folks have commented on why our daily updates in these videos report such alarming statistics. Well, it's because they are alarming statistics and we want the public to know the truth about this virus, that it continues to seek out uninfected individuals. About 10% of the total population has been infected. In Dubuque County, it's about 4.5% of the population that's been infected to date, at least that we know of. One last statistic is hospitalizations. The state as a whole has experienced increased hospitalizations since about September 21st and recorded record hospitalizations every day since October 6th. The hospitalization indicator is a result of increased cases in the past few weeks, so this increase including as we're experiencing in Dubuque County hospitals, will likely continue until our daily case numbers go down. If you're wondering where I'm, why I'm wearing pink on an October day, it's because I'm recognizing Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What does that have to do with COVID-19? Well, unfortunately, the pandemic has delayed, canceled, or made breast cancer screenings not accessible since March. At the onset of the pandemic, elective medical procedures, including breast cancer screening, colonoscopies, and other cancer screenings in general, and other regular healthcare visits for things like well child checks and immunizations, diabetes, blood pressure, and asthma checks, and lead poisoning testing, and others were largely put on hold to assure COVID healthcare needs could be met and to reduce the risk of the spread of COVID 19 in healthcare settings. The consequence of these delays has been a substantial decline in cancer screenings and other preventive health visits. Now that we've learned how to protect ourselves from contracting COVID-19 in healthcare settings through public health measures, and we now have a system for testing and seeing COVID patients, healthcare providers have been able to open up their services for checkups and preventive screenings. So if you've had one of these appointments canceled in the last six months, it would be a good idea to reschedule with your healthcare provider to get back on track. Staying healthy in general can help you deal with COVID-19, both in staying COVID-19 infection free and being able to recover the best way possible should you become infected. On another note, several recent research articles have documented COVID-19 reinfection of individuals that were previously infected. Although still rare, these reinfections demonstrate that immunity to COVID-19 infection does not last forever or possibly past the 90 days we currently use as a guide. More research and data is needed and we will surely be hearing about this, but the take home message is, just because you've already had COVID-19 infection doesn't mean you are free to go where you want, be in close distance of others, not wear a mask, and not practice other public health strategies because you may become reinfected and infect others. In closing today, keep in tune to what our medical and public health experts are telling us. As Dr. Fauci said this week, regarding the current baseline of 40 to 50,000 new infections per day right now, that's a bad place to be when you're going into colder weather of the fall and the colder weather of the winter. Dr. Fauci also commented that cooler temperatures drawing us more and more to the indoors will be, and I quote, a perfect setup for an acceleration of respiratory diseases. We're in a bad place now. We gotta turn this around, he said. Thanks, Dr. Fauci, and thanks for tuning in today. So let's take control of our behaviors, plan for cooler weather, be prepared to make tough decisions on whether to gather with family and friends for indoor social situations, and remember to support breast cancer awareness during October because we're all in this together.